don't know about you guys, but the last couple of years has been a tremendous challenge. And as we see the direction that our nation is going, and then just a, a couple of weeks ago when this news broke, the Bible says in the book of Proverbs that hope deferred makes the heart sick. I don't know about y'all, but my hope returned. I don't know about you guys, but I'm believing for God to do more than what we've just seen. Don't be surprised if, if God brings back his definition of marriage to this nation. Amen. Would y'all join me? I want to pray for the great state of Louisiana where it's now illegal to have an abortion. Amen. Father, we come to you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And God, we thank you, Lord, for the great thing that you've done. Lord, I know that years and years of prayers have gone up to the throne. And Lord, your word says that the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous and his ears are open unto their prayer. Your word says that the effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. So Lord, we thank you that you've turned things in the spirit realm and it turned things in the natural realm, Father, that we've seen a miracle, we've seen a breakthrough in our nation. Father, I pray for the state of Louisiana today. Father, I pray for our leaders. God, I pray that we would be a state that would honor you, that would continue, Lord, to stand for life, that would continue, Lord, to stand for the unborn, Lord, that we would be a, a place of protection. God, for the unborn. Lord, we believe that we're fearfully and wonderfully made. We believe that we are knitted together in our mother's womb. We're not created by an evolutionary accident, but Lord, we are fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of the Almighty God. So Lord, we pray for every unborn child. Father, we pray for every mother, Lord, in this state who may be struggling with a difficult decision. Father, that you would comfort them and most importantly, that they would come to know the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray for our churches in this state because, Lord, our solution is not in the state house, it's not in the White House, it's in God's house. Father, we pray right now that you would move in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, in this great state. And, Lord, help us continue to seek after and follow you in Jesus' name.